Hello everyone, my name is Simon Lee. I'm glad to meet you in this interesting conference. I'd like to thank Professor Cher for giving me a chance to present. I'm a postdoc in Professor Garnett's group in Kartek now, but in this presentation, I will talk about a method developed during my PhD studies supervised by Professor Char Ho Che, Michael Plato, and Sang Yap Lee. This method tried to eliminate spin contamination problem of spin flip TDFT by using a novel ansatz. My talk may not be related to the scientific software, which is the main theme of this conference, but um, more relate to uh, development of an electronic structure method. I hope you are interested in this subject too. In my PhD studies, we are interested in investigating photochemical reactions of relatively large-sized diuretical organic molecules. Especially, we wanted to understand these reactions by excited state uh, dynamic simulations with comparison of spectral properties obtained by the simulations and by time-resolved experiments in this field. For this purpose, one of the most appealing uh, electronic structure method was pinflip TDDFT. As you know, both of the conventional linear response TDDFT and the spin flip TDDFT are based on linear response theory. The conventional linear response TDDFT is the one of the most popular approach for the calculation of low-lying excited states in quantum chemistry due to its efficiency and accuracy. The linear response TDDFT is derived from a pole analysis of a response of density from, for the closed shell single state. On the other hand, the spin flip TDDFT consider a pole of a response from M sub S plus one triplet density. Although linear response TDFT is a really nice method to study systems around frank quantum point, it is well known that exchange correlation functionals fail, usually fail to consider the strong correlation when a bond is stretched or twisted. The use of the triplet reference in spin flip TDDFT can overcome this limitation of closed shell reference in these situations. Besides, in linear response TDDFT, there is no coupling between singlet ground state and its response states. While the singlet ground state of spin flip TDDFT is described by one of response state. Therefore, there is a proper coupling between uh, ground and unexcited state, which lead to correct description of topology of conical intersection and correct description of avoided crossing between ground and unexcited state. Furthermore, multiple hole and multiple particle states are missing in the conventional linear response TDFT, although there are improved methods to tackle this problem. In spin flip TDDFT, some important two hole, two particle states with respect to the closed shell configuration can be generated by single alpha to beta excitation 
from the triplet reference. Although there are lots of advantages of simply PDDFT compared to linear response TDDFT for studying the dieratical molecular systems, one drawback of spin flip TDDFT is a spin contamination problem. In this slide, I'd like to introduce one major source of the spin contamination problem and several attempts to overcome this problem. This configuration shows the electronic configuration of the triplet reference. This method uses partitioning of conjunct orbital space into core and open shell and virtual orbitals. As I mentioned, the response states of spin flip TTDFT are described by configurations obtained by alpha to beta spin flip excitation from the reference. The resulting configurations can be classified into four types of excitation, depending on the type of hole and particle orbitals. However, the configuration with the gray arrows cannot be generated by the single spin flip excitation from this reference. Since all the configurations are essential to make response states spin eigenstates, there is a spin contaminated uh, response state due to uh, missing configurations. This is the most important factor of spin contamination problem in spin flip PDDFT. This problem is relatively straightforward to be overcome in wave function based method. And indeed, there has been several interesting methods completely eliminating this problem. But we are more interested in uh, density functional theory because of uh, an efficient treatment of dynamic correlation by X kernel. However, a simple way to include additional configuration remains a challenge to PDDFT. Nevertheless, several interesting attempts can be found in literature. One, one is the polarization propagator formalism. In this approach, missing configurations can be generated by multiple excitations namely multiple hole, multiple particle from a reference. In this approach, adiabatic approximation is no longer valid, which leads to a frequency-dependent exit-kernel. Another approach is based on tensor equation of motion. In this approach, a spin-adapted configurations is automatically obtained by applying tensor operator uh, onto a tensor reference. The spin contamination in spin flip TDTFT can be completely uh, eliminated by spin adapted version of a tensor coupling scheme. Or more recently, there was an attempt to derive spin adapted uh, spin flip CIS using tensor equation of motion and the ad hoc modification of the matrix elements to DFT like exchange correlation terms yield a spin adapted version of spin flip TDDFT. However, we tried to seek another possibility of developing a method derived from the conventional time-dependent Kunsham equation within a diabetic approximation. We found a way to achieve this purpose, and the method is referred as fixed reference spin flip TDDFT. 
A main idea of mixed reference in FlipTDDFT is generating configurations by single excitation from not only the M sub S plus one reference, but also the M sub S minus one reference. A single beta to alpha excitation from the new M sub S minus one reference generates some important set of missing configurations in SpinFlip TDDFT, uh, represented with uh, blue arrows. Therefore, uh, the spin adapted configurations can be obtained for CO and <clears throat> OV types of configurations. We suggested a new way to enable this idea using the conventional time-dependent Gonsham equation. Since we derived the MR spin-flip equation from the conventional time-dependent Gonsham equation within the adiabatic approximation, the frequency-independent x econo can be utilized for uh, multi-reference spin-flip TDDFT. Although uh, four out of six configurations of CV type are still missing, these two configurations are enough to make spin adapted configuration for triplet response state. On the other hand, these two are insufficient for singlet adapted configuration. However, these type of this make insignificant contribution for low-line excited states of theoretical module in which we are interested. Then one remaining question would be how Casita equation of MR spin flip TDDFT can be derived from the time-dependent Gonsham equation. There are several ways to derive Casida equation. MR spin flip TDDFT is derived from the reduced density matrix form of time dependent Gonsham equation. In this approach, the most important condition is idempotent density matrix, as well as idempotent density matrix of reference state. Since a reduced density matrix of mixed state is not idempotent, it was difficult to mix two different re reference satisfying the idempotent relation. In this regard, we introduce a hypothetical single reference with a spinal like uh, open shell multi orbitals with orthonormal spin states defined by this relation. Here I denote the imaginary number unit. Since this is a hypothetical pure state, the corresponding reduced density matrix is idempotent. And the most important part is a density of this reference is the same as mixed form of densities for these two components of triplet references. This is the reason we called this method as mixed reference simply TDDFT. With the idempotent reduced density matrix of mixed state, uh, mixed reference, the Casida equation can be derived, and Casida equation for singlet and triplet response states are completely decoupled. However, a coupling between configuration generated from M sub S plus one and minus one references vanish, so a posteriori uh, spin pairing coupling is introduced in this version of a method. One more thing I'd like to notice 
is about how to obtain molecular orbitals of MR spin flip TDDFT. One can get spatial part of orbitals uh, by these two conditions. According to spin restricted ensemble reference consumer approach, namely uh, Rex method, a total energy of the mixed form of density can be represented as an average uh, energy for its microstate. Due to a symmetry of these two reference, the energy of the mixed reference is same as the energy of one component of triplet reference. If we substitute this energy relation to this uh, condition, one can notice that spatial part of MO of MR spin flip TDDFT is the same as that of uh, restricted open shell consham DFT method. Okay, here is the conclusion of this talk. The collinear MR spin flip TDDFT is proposed to tackle uh, spin contamination problem of spin flip TDDFT. A novel hypothetical single reference is introduced. And with the new ansatz, Cassida equation of MR spin flip TDDFT can be derived from the conventional time dependent Kunsham equation within uh, the adiabatic approximation. Some important missing configurations in uh, spin flip TDDFT are generated, which eliminate, uh, nearly eliminate the spin contamination. Due to a uh, vanishment of coupling between configurations from two different references, a uh, posteriori spin pairing coupling are introduced in this uh, version of method. Cassida equations for singlet and triplet response states are completely decoupled. So a computational cost for each equation is same as the, the same as uh, that of spin flip TDDFT. But the additional spin pairing coupling requires additional computational cost in multi-reference spin flip TDDFT. Um, there are so many people I'm grateful the, in this project. Many thanks to all people, especially my former supervisors, Professor Charles Che and Sang Yong Lee. Also many thanks to uh, Michael Plato. Uh, thanks everyone for your attention and I hope you are enjoying this conference. Thank you.